So I have a really rare full day off just stretching ahead with absolutely nothing to do. Um, so we're going to go on a little adventure and the first thing we're going to do is look for some looping and I was in the car yesterday driving along the main road and I saw it by the side of the main road this patch of looping and um, I know it grows um, a lot in some other countries and uh, maybe other places in the UK but I have never ever seen it growing wild in the UK anywhere um, especially around where I am so I was really excited and I was like okay I know what I'm doing tomorrow I'm gonna go and have a look for this looping so it is on the side of the main road so it might be hard to get to but let's do it and let's see if we can find it I'm also just gonna generally have a look for wildflowers I love to just do that when I go out on a walk just look and see how many wildflowers I can find so I'm gonna go on a new route and see what's there and then um, I'm gonna go back to my usual spot and um, just say hello to the woods there and one of the things that I would like to start today is I really want to make a big like herbal grimoire like a medica materia type thing with like pressings of um, herbs and just loads of different writings about them stuff that I do with them recipes that kind of thing so I'm gonna go out today and just whatever I come across that will be good in there I'm gonna take so I can make some pressings um, and then yes yeah, some time on a nice rainy day when everything's nice and pressed I can make a good start on that and start putting that together so that's what we're gonna do that's the um, that's the walk today so um, I've got my coffee in my bag and uh, my camera and my little notebook and what else do you need really so let's go and see if we can find some flowers and herbs So this is my usual little spot and it's so quiet today I feel bad even speaking <laughs> and making noise um, but it's just this broken tree and there used to be an animal skull underneath it um, and I don't know I just feel like it's such a little special place and this is where I was sitting when I saw the hare and the weasel and when the hare came up really close um, I'll put a link to that video above in case you haven't seen it because I did incredibly manage to get it on a video um, but that's why I just think this space is really magical and I love being here
look what we see here. It's the perfect little cup rest. cannot tell me that this is not a fairy door. I'm so pleased that I was able to find the lupin. It's so beautiful and magical and I just wasn't expecting to see it at all. So I'm really glad that we were able to get to it in the end. And um, I actually saw a flower that I'd never ever seen before. And I was just stopping to take a picture of it so I could look it up when I got in. And this man stopped and got off his bike and he was like, oh, what are you taking a picture of? So I just said, this flower, I don't know what it is. Um, and then he had like, some kind of new phone where you can just um just in one button reverse google image search so he could just search it online um so he took a picture of it and he was like oh it's so beautiful um and then we looked it up and it was broad leaved marsh orchid so it was a type of orchid i've never seen that before ever um and he was like oh this isn't my usual way usually i stop a little bit further back but i thought you know what i'll just do a bit more today and i was like this isn't my usual way as well so yeah it was nice that we both stopped and he was like oh, i'm really glad i came this way now because i've seen this flower and <laughs> seen what you were taking a photo of so that was like really wholesome actually really nice um so now i'm just back in my usual areas and just having a bit of a wonder, saying hello to the woods, um, like I do all the time. And just, yeah, just being here basically. And I'm gonna, um, I think I'm just gonna get some nettles, some uh, Herb Robert, and see if there's anything else as well. And then I've got some stuff in the garden that I can press um, to put in the grimoire. And by the way, I only take a plant where there's an abundance of it. So it's grown like all in here, all along here, and then miles along there. So there's a lot of it around. Um, and I always ask before I take so you can just ask the plant out loud or in your head and if you um, get any feeling that it doesn't want you to take it then just leave it um, and it's just really about listening really and seeing what it's got to say.
Okay, I have a whole load of herbs here. Some, uh, it's just some more mint that I'm gonna dry in the kitchen and some of it I'm gonna press to put in um, a herbal grimoire. So I'm just gonna do it the old school way and put it between the pages of a book. Also, how unusual is this book? I found it in the charity shop about 10 years ago. Um, it's like fairy outfits made of like feathers and stuff. Anyway, <laughs> it's going in this and I've got this um, like newsprint paper so it's very thin. So I'm just going to basically lay them out and I'm going to try and do um, like a few different angles. So like the flowers flat and then like the stems and just stuff like that to get a really good view of it. So I haven't pressed a flower since uh, I was very young. So we're going to give it a go and see how we get on.